All right, uh, what do you guys think? This thing is sounding uh, fantastic. Little five inch speaker here, just in free air, laying on my bench on a, a paper towel, sounding uh, sounding pretty good. Anyway, um, thanks to uh, JP if you're watching. I uh, got the uh, the foam surround that you recommended and uh, got it applied. It's working great. Aesthetically, it's probably one of the ugliest speakers I've ever seen, and this is uh, all my doing, and here's what happened. I tried to place the surround on the uh, back side of the speaker cone uh, material and uh, thought that that would work well. I tell you what, it looked fantastic. Um, unfortunately, the height of the uh, cone itself was not correct for allowing me to do so, and I was putting pressure back on the uh, paper and it was causing the uh, voice coil to uh, be compromised or rub against the center pole piece. Now I knew that because when I put the adhesive on I was generating a uh, signal around 50 Hertz or so. I didn't use shims back in here because it's already so tight I could only get two shims in here around the voice coil um, and the uh, magnet in the center. So um, anyway that method uh, just you know proved uh, correct it was usable um, so I only had seconds to work with I kind of ripped everything back out and then placed everything on the outside thus you've got all this um, you know adhesive here on the outside just kind of made a mess where everything bled through so it's just sloppiness on my part but uh, that's the fun part um, about these projects for sure uh, for those out there, uh, you know, again, watching, I created a brand new voice coil, a brand new spider using a playing card. And again, this is nothing more than just craft paper. So, um, you know, if you're thinking about, hey, I can't do this stuff, you sure can. If I can, you can. So uh, challenge yourself and, uh, you know, get with it. Anyway, uh, I appreciate you guys following along in this series. It was a lot of fun. I learned a lot. Hopefully others out there picked up a uh, few things they can take away that are uh, into the hobby and apply it in one of their builds. Uh, please share your experiences. If you have any questions, please let me know. We'll end it here. I'll turn it back up just for a few seconds and um, listen to an old tune play. Okay, guys, uh, thanks again for watching this uh, series. It was much appreciated.